Hey everyone, this is Angela Siegel, and today I'm gonna to go over some examples of output. I'm going to be using a tool called uh, IntelliJ, which is put out by JetBrains. And as a student, you have free access to this. So if you search JetBrains, it sounds strange, but they make a bunch of great tools uh, for developing. So their development environments, outside of things like Memer and CodeHS and online tools that you might use in your classrooms. Um, this is something that you can also use. It's called JetBrains. And if you click on IntelliJ, you'll find information about how to do this. Now, I've already gone through the process of uh, downloading this and installing it on my computer. But when you go through, you can state that you're a student and let them know which school you're at. And they that will give you free access to a student license and a student license is amazing so, so make sure to use these free features so once you reach the point that you've downloaded and installed IntelliJ you have to start a project and the way that works is you just hit create new project you can call it whatever you'd like you'll see you're given options now uh, we are going to use a Java project don't mess with any of this the way that it's set is perfect uh, Go ahead and click next for now and click next again. And then you have to come up with a name for it. So I'm going to call mine intro to Java. And click finish. And then you see that you've got this structure, but there's nothing really in it. You can go ahead and look through it. You can go ahead and look around in it and you'll see that there's a source folder. And within that, that's where we're going to create our new Java files. And we're going to create a new Java class. So we go to File, New, Java Class. And when we do that, when we get there, all we have to do is come up with a name. So the first thing that we've explored is output. So we'll just call it output. And you'll see that it creates this public class called output. In the online tool that you're using, you might see something like public class hello world extends console program but here the only thing that you're working with is this file uh, and so what we want to do is is leave that as is but we have to create a box a structure that we're going to work in and in IntelliJ you get all these great tools these development environments are there to support development of programs and so they're nice little tips and tricks like if you type PSVM it creates something called the main method and it, it produces this box where we're going to put all of the rest of our code. So I typed PSVM and then hit tab and it instantly created the space that I want to work and you don't have to remember the rest of the wording. So I'm going to redo that just so you can see. Again, that's PSVM and that tells us on screen that this is a main method declaration. If I hit tab, it puts in all of the necessary details. So I'm gonna be working within there. And we know that for output, we need to work with system. And the next piece in these development environments is I just have to type SY and I can see that's the first thing that comes up. So I, I'm gonna hit tab, so it says system. And as soon as I type dot, it gives me everything available within system. And one of the, the options is out. Um, because I want to use output. So this is system output, and I'm going to print line. So you'll see that there are other options. Print um, is one, but print line, when we call print line, it's going to print whatever we put within those parentheses, and then it's also going to add like a return, a, a new line character at the end. And so you can play around with these, but let's Let's go ahead and, and do the classic, hello world. I'm gonna add an exclamation point just because I am enthusiastic. So the next question is, well, how do I run this? Well, you'll see there's this little green arrow here and you can just say run output main. And what will happen is that it will run and you'll see the output just at the bottom of the screen, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, everything is taking place here and I can play with this and mess with it and see what else I can do. So maybe I wanna say, hello, Mr. Bragg. And from here on out, you can still use that green 
triangle play button but you'll see that output which is the name of my file is listed right here at the top of the screen and in fact if I can just hit this run button and it will just continue to run you'll see that in changing the text within our system.out.println it also changes the output that's brought to the screen and so now we're saying hello Mr. Bragg so you can play with this a whole bunch I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a few things a, a few lines that say system.out.println and in fact I'm going to create something uh, that looks like this H-E-L-L-O and so the first thing you should ask yourself is what will this output so before you hit run you should always be playing with these things try everything out within the exercise and, and mess with them you can't break the computer you can just make it not run that's no problem play with it as much as you can so then you ask yourself what is this going to output well I know that a print line statement is going to print what's in the inside those parentheses and then put a new line character and so it's going to print that H and then a new line and then the E and a new line the L and a new line and so it's going to print hello but with one letter on each each line so we can run it and check that that's the case and now the next question I have is what if I what if I use the other function what if I use print instead of print line print differs from print line in the following way it prints and then it doesn't have the new line character so instead of instead of printing the H and moving to the new line it prints the H and then it waits it then prints the E and waits prints the L and waits and so if we hit run what we'll find is that it still prints H-E-L-L-O but it does so all on the same line it does it in five different steps uh, but the output is the same as if I just printed uh, if I use print line hello so have a play with this. Don't be afraid to break it. You can't break it. You can just have a bit of fun.